and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for our next donation deck that's going to kick off our course at 2020 standard season. We have Azorius Angels with some sweet new toys from M20. Most notably, we got Safara in here. So we're, we're trying to have a whole lot of flying creatures and then be able to cheat in this 7 mana 7-7 seven, seven flying lifelink creature by just being able to tap four untapped creatures with flying we control and pay one white mana of course so in order to do that as you can tell here we have just all sorts of creatures with flying we do have bishop of wings which is our one creature that's not flying because every angel that will enter the battlefield under our control gains four life um and whenever angels die we, we get to make spirits as well so both of those are, are definitely valuable Gaining four life is really nice with Resplendent Angel that just needs to gain five life to be able to make an angel at end step. Of course, if we have Angel of Vitality, we gain one extra life. So there we go. That's how we can get from four to five. So we can gain five life. If we have the Bishop and the Angel of Vitality in play, we gain five life every time that we play an angel. And so that's how Resplendent Angel can kick off some or uh, kick out some extra angels for us. Uh, we're trying out some God's Willings here. I really like this card. I think this card's very strong. Uh, gaining protection from any color until end of turn is a really nice ability. It's a lot better than just being indestructible because um, that means that things that don't just destroy your creature, maybe things that exile you know, or tuck or anything like that, you can save your creature from. Plus, you can make your creature unblockable if they have, like I don't know, like some flying creature that we need to get through to end the game or like you know an army of creatures we can just make our creature unblockable by giving it protection from whatever color we need and we get that scry in there also that's a nice little bonus get that scry one so that's a really strong card got that in there we have the shalai spark double combo only have two of each piece but we do have that combo in here to try to get and then we have we've seen a lot of like graveyard stuff kind of in general so remorseful clerics a nice uh hate card for that to Meek's a nice main deck hate card for Nyssa. So we got a couple good main deck cards there. Um, and yeah, that's kind of our deck. All right. So let's give this a try. Azorius Angels. Oh, I'm going to need to... Let's do let's do a few things. Let's, let's one, let's uh, change our sleeves. We don't, didn't put any sleeves on the deck. Let's put some sleeves on the deck. Who wants to be the sleeves? I mean, it's got to be Safara, right? Is that is that Safara? I mean, it's a different Safara, of course, but I, whoever that angel is, that's got to be our angel. And let's change our avatar. Who's an angelic avatar? Hmm. Guess. Tristani must be restored far and wide. works there. All right. I guess we didn't get the rewards from the last one. Whoops. My bad. Oh, there's Aurelia in here too. Yeah, Aurelia is a good one. Oh well, too late. Picked picked Tristani. You can tell the. <clears throat> the client's a little laggy today. It's the first day with Corset 2020. The servers are kind of having a little bit of troubles and everything. Uh, yes, golden guy, that, that would be a bug. Hmm. Let's give this a try. Sure, it's a little bit slower, but pretty powerful. We got a removal spell. Oh, 
Fireblade Artist. All right, let's go ahead and just baffling end this thing. I want to be able to have the God's Willing protect my angel, so we'll wait a turn before playing the angel, so we'll just kind of curve with the baffling end here. No, yeah, so they, like a new, yeah, I guess it's like a, a new thing, like they made these decks a whole lot bigger than what they were before. Because, yeah, it looks like it's like 100 cards compared to what it was before, but it's only just 51. Oh, the tokens have, car have card styles now? Because this is a card style, so the token's a card style. Awesome. That's pretty great. Hey, Talran. One of Mulligan's good so far. Only used it a couple of times, but, you know, it's useful both times. Or, you know, it's useful. That's yeah, good so far. Protection from green. Yeah, new Chandra is good. Yeah, it's... You can make it a repeatable Snapcaster. Yeah, absolutely. You know, costs red red. Which could be a little tough. If we would have drawn the land, we would have been able to activate Resplendent Angel there. Which would have been ideal, but... Well, that... Whoops, sorry. So yeah, we, we did not take the two from the Fireblade Artist. Because the, art, the artist, even though they sacrifice the creature, the artist does say uh, deals two damage to target opponent or Planeswalker, and they can't target any opponent or Planeswalker, so we didn't take any damage there. All right, well, Devout Decree seems perfect for this matchup. Exile Tire Creature or Planeswalker that's black or red and scry one. Yes, please. So we'll bring in those. Uh, time Wipe. Definitely want this Baffling End. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know why there's this like flower thing here that's blocking some of the text. All right, so Remorseful Cleric seems like it's probably going to get pinged off quite a bit. So it's hanged Executioner. Am I just not going to be able to get seven of these things in? Let's see. We're taking out to Fairy. I'm gonna bring in deputy. I'm gonna cut one Safara. All 
All right, let's go with this. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't have permission to make bot commands. You should be able to, Caddy. You're you're a mo you're a mod. Mods can make bit bot commands, as far as I know. Do you know how to? You t type exclamation point, and then add a com, and then you add it. It's possible that you're not entering it correctly. You type that and then the next exclamation point for the next thing. Okay, so we got Corpse Knight. That card's cool. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses a life. So we're going to have to play Angels so we can gain four life. So we know they're going to be able to fry next turn. So I'm going to want to keep the gods willing up next turn. So we're going to go with Tamik instead of Resplendent Angel. Yeah, you did it. There you go. Oh, that was Careless Whisper by Prismo. That was Prismo's cover. All right, so we'll play the angel to gain four life. Uh, it's possible next turn I'm going to pick the angel back up and time wipe. Also, not sure if I really needed to. I don't know if I really need to play the angel. But that four life is nice.
All right, so one more land. And our Splendid Angel gets to activate. And now make a card style angel. That's kind of cool, they show you the token also. That's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. No, that resplendent angel just got fried. Poor angel. Yeah, yeah, definitely like how these tokens are looking. All right, do we got it? Do we got it, kitty? No, resplendent angel. They had to attack with the Dreadhorde Butcher and just see if I blocked to be able to kill the Remorseful Cleric. Alright, there we go. One and oh. Got some XP. And started off with a win. <laughs> yeah, the exper the XP. It goes towards the mastery system. Um, yeah, that's that's what that's for. Your new, your new thing. Instead of just getting three packs every week for getting to fifteen wins each week, they have that the whole mastery system. It's a new thing from today. I don't think that the I don't think the XP gained per day is limited to one level. I think it's just you only gain XP from doing your daily quest and from, you know, winning your extra matches. So I think when people are saying it's like one level a day is because you only get the one quest a day. But if, you know, you wait like a couple of days and you don't play, you get the, you have the extra quests, so you get to gain extra XP kind of thing. Why did I not just play a two drop? What's going on? What am I doing? All right, we need to get back. we need to get in the game. Daily daily wins reset every day. The mask is scary, but underneath I'm just a normal. I don't think you'll be needing that. All 
So I'm hoping for no ritual ascent. To run again. All right, cast down the angel. Can deal with that. Didn't get the Resplendent Angel killed. That's good. Right, right. That's not good. Your corpse will volunteer. A little death never hurt anyone. I definitely got to hope they can't kill Lyra Dawnbringer here. Which spark double should we discard? Let's discard the old one, keep the new one. I kind of want to see if that if the attack happens. So obviously they don't have removal. Otherwise they would use the removal um, before letting the Liliana die. If they have another Liliana, you know that's terrible for me, of course. Uh, looks like they have command the Dread Horde. It's also terrible for me because that's just another Liliana. Hey, Frisky Biscuits, Kurtash. Yeah, London Mulligan is pretty good. Yeah, liking the London Mulligan so far. Yeah, Command the Dread Horde just finishes us. Finishes us off. Our only hope is our opponent like taking 18 points worth of stuff. I am the master here. Hmm. I'll have to order 20. I honestly don't know why they grabbed Davriel. What they expect Davriel to do. It just it does two damage to me every turn, but like Liliana's gonna kill me before that and like everything else. Like Loneliness can the, the two damage a turn doesn't doesn't matter. Hey Byrox. <laughs> Rise and shine. Those who cannot perceive beyond the world of reality are lost. Hone your prowess. That is nice that it doesn't just stop every single time. It just continues to play here. That's quite nice. Mind. <laughs> a 
Liliana's are going to be really tough for us to beat, honestly. That's a great card against us. All right, so we'll have Devout Decrees. Vetoes. Teferis. I don't know about Cage, honestly. Cage does stop. I guess he could be okay. Cage does stop the... Creatures from coming back from Command the Dread Horde, but not Planeswalkers. Nah, let's just let's not bring in Cage. sure if we really need like the best thing bishop of wings does is that second clause <clears throat> making spirits whenever angels die You don't need to like just use all your wild cards on the Scrylands immediately. The Scrylands are basically just for the two color decks. So if you <clears throat> if you're not really planning on playing one of the two color combinations, you don't need the Scrylands for that color combination yet. Yeah, thankfully you have until next year before Shocklands rotates. You don't have to miss them too early here. I know my responsibility. So I want to be able to play Resplendent Angel after, you know, like with four mana, so I have God's Willing for Resplendent Angel. Uh, this means if our opponent had Teferi also, or sorry, if they had Narset also, we wouldn't have to worry about drawing the extra card. Let me pick your brain for a minute. Don't worry, I got this. Dis discarding spark double, because of course we need to like actually have something stick before we spark double it. Perish the thought. It's rude. Goes nothing. All right, so we'll use so we'll have to fairy bounce the hostage taker. Empty your mind. 
So we can get our flyer back. Keeping this Glacial Fortress in hand in case of a discard. It's like some kind of discard thing. We just gotta hope no Liliana. Blah. <laughs> My army will their decks this world. fights our deck pretty well. Uh, get out of my way. Bunch of sacrifice stuff. And it's not like we're going that wide. You know, we just have a couple angels that we want to have survive. Ooh, I got an orb to use. Let's get this Legion's End. I'm trying. Place the orb here to obtain this style. Yes, that's what I'd like to do. Oh, this is buggy. All right, I guess I'll try that later. So yeah, Liliana's trigger, protection doesn't work against that because that's just saying sacrifice creatures. It's not targeting. Protection stops things that target. Tom Prius. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for that sub there. Welcome back. I think we're going to mulligan this, considering we need one land to start and then multiple other lands to kind of keep going. Oh, that hand doesn't look any better. Here, we can keep this. All right, so our 10th sub of the day. That's our first sub goal towards our next 12-hour stream. Whenever we hit 20 total sub goals, I'll be doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate. All right, we gotta get rid of two cards. We're gonna get rid of the island and the uh, God's Willing. No, I won't be streaming any draft this week. I bought I bought the ten level pack with the mastery pack and then used the code level up for two levels and then we've gotten the other levels from quests. I don't have a good explanation for the new mastery thing. What? Are you kidding me? Main deck, Sagittar's Volley? Destroy a creature with flying and deal one damage to each creature with flying? Are you kidding me? There's not even any cards over there just to kill. We mold a five and then our opponent does that. We just hope we draw Shalai. Not a bad one.
Dang. We're getting kind of crushed over here. Hey, that's a good card. So they're not playing lands over there, so they just have a, a grip full of five spells. Not a good sign for us, considering we have a 2-1. The spark double has been pretty, pretty bad in our deck here. So far, we've only, we've only drawn it, what, like three games now, but it's never, it's never been good. It's kind of only good with Shalai. I mean, it's good with Lyra if, if Lyra actually sticks. That was about the best card we could draw. Because I can't even play Hanged Executioner because this the Steel Leaf kills me. Yeah, MTG pot's not really working there. Um, I mean, that's that's the playlist. <laughs> that last song was "On Our Way" by the Royal Concept. What was the last song right there? Am I gonna actually have to block this vine mare with this the resplendent angel? I've been trying not to, but <laughs> you're welcome, Storm. What colors have the best card in M20? I don't I don't know yet, Emmanuel. We're like on the first day and determining what the best cards are like immediately is kind of difficult to do. I don't know. I'm 
not going to activate this thing. Alright, going to game number two. This looks like this is going to be a tough matchup for us. Definitely want these time wipes. And yeah, I suppose we want another baffling end. Deputy attention, I don't know. I have a lot of hexproof stuff. Remorseful clerics just seem way too small here, but they do help us cast Safaras. I think playing Safara is going to be something that we would like to do if possible. Keep a keep a normal hand. So if I keep this hand, if we don't draw three lands, we don't get to play magic. But if we do draw three lands, like it's very likely that we win them. Um, you know, not necessarily because you know they we've seen them have some removal, so it's not it's not guaranteed win. But it's a it's a likely win if we draw three lands. If we don't draw three lands, we automatically lose. I guess that means we're going to five again. All right, we'll get rid of the islands. Yeah. Yeah, Mulligan, yeah. We're, we at least have pretty decent hands. Even on these five-card hands, you know, like we're playing Magic. And that's what the London Mulligan rule is supposed to be about, is supposed to help you out whenever you Mulligan deep like this. I'm not sure if I want to lead with Resplendent Angel in case that they do have, like, destroy target creature with flying kind of thing. The leader, leader of the Hanged Executioner. Pretty good card. That's just exile target creature, not exile target permanent. It's pretty nice of them just to play this Steel Leaf Champion before combat. Mm. 
No land. I wouldn't mind them playing something else that's pretty big, though. This cat, you know, is like randomly meows. And I, I think it's like Hawkeye meowing or something. And I'm, I'm, you know, taken aback by it. Come on. <laughs> you thought that was your cat? Uh-oh. Okay, we could use a land. Put two lands to the bottom, and then we never see any more lands. Of course, we didn't know we were going to have the time wipe at that point. So our deck... There we go. Now it opens. Our deck felt pretty underpowered here. I think that hmm yeah I Kurtash it's I can't reset I, I understand that the, the game's lagging and everything oh I didn't update the record over here We're, we went one and two But I can't reset because if I do, then we'll just get logged off forever with the the server troubles. Um, so yeah, so basically, with our deck here, it blue. The the blue wasn't like spark double was was very bad. Teferi wasn't really that good. I feel like if you want to be a Safara deck, we got to have a lot more flyers than what we have, and like just having the expensive flyers is kind of tough. I think that maybe going spirit wise instead of angel wise for Safara is better. Now that's that's obviously not a Bishop of Wings deck, but I think that if if we're trying to play Safara, I think you got to go spirits with blue white, where you can have a lot cheaper spirits, and you can have uh, like Thopters. Or even like Thopters coming in with like like do like three mana Dovin instead of three mana Teferi, um, uh, like with the Thopter tokens and and uh, deploy and things like that. But the Spark Double, the Safara, those cards didn't really seem worth it. And if if you move away from Safara, we don't have to play like Remorseful Cleric and Tamik and stuff. I did like Bishop of Wings. To go along with Resplendent, Shalai, Lyra. I like that part of the deck. I kind of don't like the, all this extra stuff, though. I think um, that I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure all the extra stuff is worth it, but I did like Bishop of Wing to go with the, the different angels. Um, unfortunately, we played against somebody who like made a sacrifice stuff. So God's Willing wasn't as good there, but I, I did like the God's Willing, like that one game, uh, that we got to block the token and give our our resplendent angel pro green and I do like uh, God's willing. So 
so yeah moving moving into like a different color like uh black white green white or abzan could work but yeah going with like uh um sarah for the scales could work the spark doubles just weren't spark doubles and safara like they, these these weren't so good and neither was remorseful cleric or to me unfortunately i think we'd have to go like yeah yeah so i think i think with safari you need a lot of cheap flyers a lot of cheap one one flyers that you can get out like deploy that makes one ones three mana dovin that minuses and makes flyers maybe five mana tezzeret that ticks up and makes flyers like five, five mana tezzeret making thopters i think that's the kind of i'm feeling like that's where we want to go if we want to go with safara And then just like you know, kind of like the other angel decks that I've that I've normally played. If you if we want to play, be more on the angel stuff. I do like Bishop of Wings though. That's that's a good card. I like this card being like the one four and everything. Um, for example, before before this format, like my last mono white angels, I think we'd kind of want to go similar to you know like this. This isn't a Safara deck. But Bishop of Wings can like replace Takali Honor Guard in the two two mana slot to like help help gain extra life whenever you're playing these angels, for example. The Bishop of Wings was definitely good. But then just have like, you know, stronger cards, Tithe Taker, Gideon, History, stuff like that. It it doesn't seem like this the Safara works with expensive angels with a you know playing a whole lot of three four five mana flyers and trying to have four of them out to get safara into play doesn't seem like the way you want to go i think you got to have a lot more zero one mana flyers for safara or um you know ways to get extra tokens into play and stuff like that Hey, Lolly Yeager. Um, so there we go. So that's Azorius Angels. Did some good learning there. With the new set, because that's that's what the early parts of this format are, are trying to trying to learn and um you know, figure out like what what can we do with all these cards and everything like that. Um, and there we go, learn some stuff with Safara here. All right, so if you're watching the video later on on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, that's it here for the Azorius Angels. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.